My group's research is currently focused on renewable energy technology. We want to get the same product that we use every day, but in a much more energy efficient and green way. We have a recent research really focused on electrochemical generation of hydrogen peroxide. We can only use electricity from the sunlight. We can take oxygen from the air and we can use water as these three as the input. And we can make these the same compound of hydrogen peroxide at the point of use. So this electrochemical cell is gen generating pure hydrogen peroxide solutions. So we can see now it is just like a pure potassium permanganate solution. If we let our output hydrogen peroxide and drop in this um, beaker, we can see the color is changed. Yeah, the Degraded. color is like can you so see the that? color yeah. is changing to transparent. It's basically through this chemical reaction we can know what's the concentration of hydrogen yeah. peroxide inside. Nowadays, with more distributed energy generator, for example, everyone's roof, they probably can have a solar cell to generate electricity, right? You know, every place you can have a, a wind turbine to generate electricity. So it becomes a different way we produce energy. And then we will need to have a matched way for this energy to be consumed or to be used. That's the reason why we are more and more interested in delocalized chemical synthesis or generation. That's we can use those de, uh, scattered energy sectors and directly generate the product that we want. One of our previous research is, uh, you know, CO2 reduction. We can grab the carbon dioxide to also use renewable electricity to make hydrocarbons or products that we want. So that's quite similar topics, but you know, we are developing more and more technologies to unfold like reactions that traditionally we are using chemical engineering process to do, but now we are using a renewable electricity to drive.